good children how are you children so let us welcome to our online classes for the academic year 2021 to 2022 so today we are going to discuss one lesson okay so that is oliver ask for more and now we will see who has written that lesson and everything uh, charles dickens is the writer of that lesson oliver ask for more okay so let us know about charles dickens this charles charles dickens is a british novelist is a great writer a british novel okay so he uh, left uh, school because uh, due to his father's imprisonment he left school and uh, he started his uh, writing career while he was working as a office boy he started his writing career while he was working as a office boy so he wrote many old white famous novels like uh, great expectations david copperfield a tale of the two cities oliver twist okay yes so this lesson is from oliver twist yes so here let us come to the lesson is lesson part so here it is all about an orphan boy who is an orphan boy an orphan is a is a person who does not have parents means no mother no father that is orphan the person is called orphan okay yes so this lesson is all about an orphan orphan boy named oliver so his name is oliver oliver who is brought to children's home so because since he does not have parents he is brought to a children's home okay yes so you know that the people who don't have a mother and father to look after them so such people they will be brought to this orphanage okay so he is also brought to a children's a children's home okay yes one day he is asked in appear before a live board yes what is live board live board is nothing but there are so many judges uh, they sit around the table and they decide what uh, others to do that is live board so he asked to appear before the live board yes for he has not been within the ward in the reason for he has not been within the walls for quarter an hour Yes, for that, so he is asked to appear before the live board. So he does not know what the live board is. So he is not uh, sure. He is uncertain whether to cry or laugh. Yes, to avoid live board because he does not know the what live board is. So here, Mr. Bumble. So Mr. Bumble is in charge of uh, the house. So. he <coughs> takes uh, this oliver into a large white washed room where eight or 10 people are sitting around the table so that eight or 10 people sitting around the table that that is called a live board okay so that is called a live board so he has to appear that mr bumble takes him presents him before the live board yes so one one gentleman in the high chair he asks uh, oliver the name then frightened with fear so oliver trembles <coughs> trembles means uh, just he has never seen uh, judges sitting around uh, the table like that so that's why he trembles what they will say whether they will be or what like because he does not know that so that's why so he trembles can tremble means shook with the fear okay yes tremble tremble means shook with the shook with the 
fear. Yes. So should we fear? So one gentleman, he says that uh, he is an orphan. So even he does not know what an orphan is. Yes, he does not know what an orphan is. Okay, says that he is an orphan. And uh, if at all he has to pray for the God, he should pray for the God to the people who take care of him and who feed him. Because that the life was uh, members, uh, <coughs> they are only feeding the believer. Okay, yes, they have a house, and uh, in that house, they provide everything. They provide everything means uh, they don't provide much, a very little less quantity of food. Yes. So, gentleman asked him, when gentleman asked him what his name is, so he shook with fear. And uh, one gentleman says that uh, he is an orphan, and he should, uh, he, reminds, he reminds him that. Uh, he is an orphan. He also reminds him that uh, just uh, he, he has come there to be educated and uh, to be taught uh, a useful trade. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, they'll uh, make him learn to do some trade also, to do some work. So he is asked to pick some oakum. oakum. What is the work there? So oakum to pick oakum. Pick oakum means here oakum is loose fiber. Okay, so loose fiber which we have to pick pick, pick out from goats. Okay, so that is oakum. Okay, yes. So he is asked to pick oakum the very next morning at uh, six o'clock. Yes. So after that, Oliver is Oliver. So he goes to bed there sobbing. Sobbing means? Sobbing means crying. Yes. So he goes to bed there crying and sleeps. So he does not know but how uh, the decision taken by the life board was going to change the course of his time, course of his life. Okay, he does not know that. So here the board members, <coughs> they are of the opinion that uh, that is the place uh, which is meant for public entertainment. Yes, for the poorer people, for the poorer children. And that is also a place for, uh, <coughs> that is also, a, that is also a place for, that is a place for the people where uh, they have they have to take their dinner and eat, supper and everything. So the, the members of the board, they are of the opinion that uh, the poor should be given two alternatives. What are the two alternatives? Whether to quickly die outside the workhouse or gradually die inside the workhouse. That means uh, if they are in the outside the workhouse, uh, they don't provide any food. So the inmates uh, will uh, definitely die instantly, immediately. Okay. Yes. So if they are inside the house, they will provide very less food, less quantity of food, so that they will survive a few days and after that gradually they will die. But death is compulsory. Okay, whether they are outside of the house or inside of the house. But if they are outside of the house, it occurs very soon. But if they are inside of the house, it occurs, it takes some time. Okay, so that is the situation there. So here, for six months after Oliver got in here, so the system is in full operation. So, so that as a result, what happened? So the inmates of the workhouse, so have become thinner, they became very weak because of lack of food, like because having a less quantity of food, okay, yes. So here, one boy, he hints that, uh, that uh, if, he, if he is not self
that would uh, another uh, based on for doer definitely he will uh, kill uh, the person who is living next to him because they get that much of ferocious 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 means ferocious wanting great quantity of food why they want the great quantity of food because they are being served a very less quantity of food every day so if they are served less quantity of food every day how can they bear the uh, starvation they can't bear the starvation so out of starvation that only they will die. so one boy expresses the same thing that if he is not fed of another bit of food do your every day definitely he would kill he had a fear that definitely he would kill a, 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 his inmate who is sleeping next to him so they decide that uh, to send oliver to the master to 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 ask to ask to sell more food yes they want some more food who will ask nobody is there to ask because everybody feels afraid of asking the more food so that's why they decide to send oliver to the master after that evening to ask for more food so oliver he does not know anything is a small boy no? so he asks more food to the master and when he hear that asking more food from oliver and the master he gets shocked because nobody should ask more food so whatever they said they should be satisfied with that only they, they should serve three meals of thin gruel every day thin gruel means gruel thin gruel thin gruel means thin gruel means so gruel means it is a food thick thick food thin food made out of liquid food that is liquid food made out of rice oats etc okay yes so they will be served a very less quantity of food so that's why they are wild with hunger now okay so now un unknowing what will happen so oliver asks for more food to the master so that is the lesson learned oliver asks for more okay here he asks for some more food the master so the master he gets very much very much surprised and he send the mr bumbel to the board members to complain against this so mr bumbel goes there and uh, make a make a come and makes a complaint against uh, uh, oliver asking for more food so and the board members immediately they order for oliver's confinement so immediately there is a notice board pasted on the outside of the gate that uh, he should be taken along with uh, five pounds of the parish okay yes so that means so oliver and the five pounds will be given to those persons who will take uh, oliver for a trade okay or follow the business yes so here they send uh, oliver outside of the house uh, for for others uh, to trade with okay uh, to deal with a trade okay yes so that in that way uh, they did like that okay so this is all about the lesson thank you very much for listening so let us meet uh, with some more uh, topics uh, in the next class thank you very much